Blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law. Psalm 94, verse 12. Of ourselves we are not able to bring the purposes and desires and inclinations into harmony with the will of God. But if we are willing to be made willing, the Savior will accomplish this for us, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. He who would build up a strong symmetrical character, he who would be a well-balanced Christian, must give all and do all for Christ. For the Redeemer will not accept divided service. Daily he must learn the meaning of self-surrender. He must study the Word of God, learning its meaning and obeying its precepts. Day by day God works with him, perfecting the character that is to stand in the time of the final test. And day by day the believer is working out before men and angels a sublime experience. And day by day the believer is working out before men and angels a sublime experiment, showing what the gospel can do for fallen human beings. But when tribulation comes upon us, how many of us are like Jacob? We think at the hand of an enemy, and in the darkness we wrestle blindly until our strength is spent, and we have no comfort or deliverance. God would not have us remain pressed down by dumb sorrow with sore and breaking hearts. He would have us look up and behold his dear face of love. The blessed Savior stands by man whose eyes are so blinded by tears that they do not discern him. He longs to clasp our hands, to have us look to him in simple faith, permitting him to guide us. His heart is open to our griefs our sorrows, and our trials.